Good morning and welcome to Kingdom Kids. I hope everyone's had a wonderful week. I mean, it was just a beautiful sunny day last Sunday and then we had snow and then we had more sun. So you know what? It's a week that God created that we can just see the beauty in that. And you know what? He didn't just create the weather. He also created food. So before we get into our lesson, let's pray. God, I just thank you that you have you have created life so that we can have fun and so that we can enjoy and we can um, we can worship you in everything we do, whether it's play or food or eat or work. It's all worship to you. And so, Father, as we listen to your word and listen to your stories, that you would just come and teach us and you would um, fill us with amazement and awe of who you are and how you desire to work in our lives each and every day. So just come and speak to us through your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's go worship. Anything 
Jesus was one of the most famous people in all of Israel. One day, as he was teaching, thousands of people came to listen, hanging on his every word. He spoke and taught in a way that people could understand. There were people from all social classes. Some were Jews, others were Gentiles. Yet each of them found significance in the wisdom with which he taught. Jesus had a lot to say, and later during the day, the crowds became hungry. Jesus, the people are hungry, his disciples came and told him. You must send the people away to find a place to stay and find something to eat. Jesus looked at the thousands of people. It was a huge crowd. There were 5,000 men, plus women and children. Then Jesus gave a strange order to his disciples. You give them something to eat, he commanded them. The disciples were confused. We don't have any food. And even if we spent all the money we had on food, there still would not be enough. Then Jesus asked them, what food do you have? One of his disciples, Andrew, came up to Jesus with a young boy. This boy has five barley loaves and two fish, but that is not enough for all these people. Have the people sit down, Jesus instructed. The disciples went to work arranging the people into an orderly seating pattern. The young boy watched as Jesus held up his food and thanked God for it. Suddenly, a miraculous sign occurred. After giving thanks, Jesus started handing out the food. The more he handed out, the more food there was. God was multiplying the five barley loaves and two fishes to be enough to feed 5,000 people. The crowds were amazed. Once again, Jesus' disciples witnessed firsthand the power of the Son of God. Jesus was constantly illustrating and teaching them valuable lessons that would help strengthen their faith. With God, nothing was impossible. Not even turning two fishes and five loaves of bread into a 5,000-piece lunch. As the disciples scooped up the leftovers, they filled 12 full baskets. This was an undeniable miracle. Who could have such power? Indeed, this Jesus was the Son of God. That day, thousands more people believed, repented, and put their trust in God. <laughs> oh, wow! This is difficult. I thought this puzzle would have been easier, but I just can't do it by myself. Hey, Charlotte, can you come and help me with this puzzle, please? Oh, hey, Pepper. Oh, I love puzzles. What are you working on? It's the 1,000-piece puzzle. I thought since I could do a 500-piece puzzle, that 1,000 would be easy, too. But it's not. 1,000 pieces. That's a lot of puzzle pieces. But slowly and surely, we can get it done. Oh, well, look at that blue one over there. Maybe. Can I have it? Yeah, you want to collect the blue ones? Yeah. I'll get the brown ones. There's a lot of different browns in here. Oh, there it is. Hey, Charlotte, how many people are there in the world? There are like a thousand people, maybe one million people. Oh, I don't know. I know it's more than one million. More than one million? Yeah, I think, I think Google knows, and I think that there are more than even five billion. Why do you ask? Well, I was looking at all the pieces, all 1,000 of them, and look how different the shapes and the colors are, mm -hmm. but they all look sort of the same. Is it true that God knows every single one of us? Yeah, Pepper. God knows who each one of us is. Everything about us, too. But that's a lot of people. I can't even think of everyone's name in school. Yeah, that is a lot of people. God knows everyone, even the number of hairs on our heads. Oh, wow. There's a story in the Bible where Jesus feeds uh, uh, a lot of people from a boy's lunch. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Jesus fed 5,000 people. That's like, um, well, this box of, of 1,000. If there were five boxes, each with 1,000, that's 5,000. Each piece being a person. 
each kind of the same, but different. Five thousand people? Uh-huh. They were hungry, and Jesus cared about every single person, and he didn't want anyone to go hungry. And Jesus didn't want to miss, uh, the people didn't want to miss Jesus' teaching to get food. Well, how did they find the boy? Well, I think I remember reading that Jesus sent his disciples in to the crowd to find food. And uh, Jesus wanted to let the people know that he loved them. Then he took the, the, the bread and the fish and he prayed over it. And God multiplied the food through division. Oh, wow. Wait. What? What's multiplication? Multipli multiplication. Oh, I'm sorry, Pepper. I'm learning multiplication in math. And it means to add a lot all at one time. And it can be really hard. But God doesn't find it hard to multiply. That's why God is miraculous. And God showed a miracle that day. And no one went hungry. The people had their tummies full and their hearts full. That's a lot of tummies and hearts. Uh -huh. I'm glad God is God and I'm not. I find it hard to find the right spot for 1,000 puzzle pieces. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, this will probably take longer than a day. Maybe two or three days. Yeah, maybe, maybe even more than a week. Oh, well... Yeah. Well, then we should get started. Yeah, I think so. Oh, look at all the red ones. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, yeah, and there's yellow and, and blue. and Yeah, still a lot of browns. If we have some over here and all the edges, we'll go all the way around. Yeah, we should start with the edges first. Yeah, I think so. We'll get her done. Wow, that was an amazing story. Imagine being there in the crowds listening to Jesus speak. And you're getting hungry, but you don't know where your food is coming from. You don't know how, but you don't want to leave because you want to hear what he has to say. Well, God showed up. He showed up in a way that was almost unimaginable. He showed up and he fed his people, not just spiritually, not just with spirit food, not just food from the Father's mouth, but also with physical food. He showed up and he met the needs of the people right where they were at. See, growing up, I always thought that there were five loaves. Like, you know, the homemade bread, the loaves you buy in the, in the store, the big loaves. And that's what he used. But no, it was just enough to feed one little boy. So that, he looked, he took five small loaves, like these loaves right here. Small loaves that would feed one little boy, one boy. I have had 5,000 people. See, our God is a God of miracles. Our God is a God who cares for you, who meets you where you're at. And he will take something so small to feed everyone. Five loaves and two fish was just enough for a little boy. But he multiplied it by dividing it. Ooh. He multiplied it by dividing it so that everyone could get fed, so that everyone could be full. They ate until they filled, were filled. And you know what? God wants you to eat until you're full. He, his word is so alive that you just want more and more and more. See, his word multiplies. It multiplies the love in your life. It mul multiplies the forgiveness for to other people. It multiplies kindness and gentleness and patience when you listen to his word when you read the bible it changes just like here we have yeast tiny little beads of yeast but when but alone they do nothing in fact they are nothing that's like us when we're alone without god we're nothing but you add the Holy Spirit in, which is like the water. Here, I've added water in with yeast, with the yeast. And it multiplied. It grew and it grew and it grew to make the buns. So when we 
soak in God's word. When we listen to Jesus' words and when we read the Bible or when we pray, it multiplies and it grows so much so that it can feed thousands of people. See, five loaves and two fish was only big enough for a little boy, but God make it, made it big enough for 5,000 people. But that, it, that doesn't stop there. See, he cares about us so much that there were leftovers. Now, when they collected the baskets, they weren't small little baskets like this. They were big, huge baskets, uh, like we saw on our, on our Bible lesson, because he wanted to know, show who he was. He's a God of greatness. He doesn't do anything small. He does everything big, because he loves us, and because he has, a, he has us sharing so it's big, even though it might seem small to us, it's big for everyone else because it goes, shows us who he is by the way we live out his love, his joy, his patience, his kindness. And that multiplies just like the yeast multiplied, just like the bread multiplies, just like the spiritual food we eat multiplies. So look for his multiplication, God's multiplication in your life because of what you might say, because of what God might tell you to say to somebody, it might change their world. Just like the bread changed the world of those people on that mountain. It gave them their spiritual food, but it also met their physical food. So let's watch how God multiplies in your life because you're not too small. You're just the right Size to be used by our great, amazing, and wonderful God. Thank you, God, so much that you want to show your love and you want to use us, these tiny little beads of yeast, to multiply your forgiveness and your love to those around us as we go out into our week, this coming week. May, by your Holy Spirit, we meet, we, may we multiply who you are to others and you shine through and cause others to experience the fullness of your bread of life. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a good week and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.